Yo, what's going on YouTube? Um, let me make this quick. The whole Dillian White situation uh, is explained by Mauricio Suleiman on Ellie Sickback's channel, man. You know, he's sitting there, you know, eating dinner and whatnot, but he explained it, man. This lady's like, oh, what's going on with the uh, Dillian White situation, yada, yada. And he, he said to the lady, he's like, he, you, like, you're on a bandwagon, you know. Um, let me explain to you. He's like, uh, he's like, Wilder wanted to fight, uh, Ortiz. Uh, what's his name? Was the mandatory, you know. Remains the run was the mandatory. Uh, he stepped aside. Luis Ortiz, you know, popped hot, whatever like that. And then Wilder, he had to fight Remains the run. Then he still fought Luis Ortiz, you know, right afterwards as a voluntary. But um, Dominic Brazil versus Eric Molina, it was an eliminator to be the mandatory, okay? It was eliminated to be the mandatory. And um, the situation there was, he was explaining, it, is like if Eric Molina had beat uh, Dominic Brazil, he wouldn't have been the mandatory, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So it was eliminated to be a mandatory. So I guess that was the situation where just lining up mandatories, man. So, you know, um, I mean, this, this, this is what happens in boxing, man. You know what I'm saying? It was just lining it up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Luis Ortiz was number three. You know, Wilder already beat number one, um, which was Bermain Stavern. But you remember, Bermain Stavern was paid step aside money so he can fight his number, number three, Luis Ortiz. Okay, Luis Ortiz wasn't a mandatory. Wilder just wanted to, you know, take care of business and, um, you know, make a statement. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 wanted, he wanted a signature fight, and it was Luis Ortiz, okay? So he wanted to get that done. He did it. Uh, Bermain Stavern. Uh, was the mandatory. He was sitting there. He had to fulfill that obligation. He did. And then, so, that would have, <laughs> so, I mean, you saw, you see how the, everything fell in, it fell into place. Uh, hell, the, it, if you think about it, hell, the number one and number uh, three spot would have been open. So, it would have just left the number two. And so, I guess he just went on and take, took care of business, man. And had uh, Dominic Brazil versus Eric Molina as an eliminate. So Dominic Brazil become be the next dude in line, you know, which makes sense, man. I mean, Brazil is a tough is a tough out, man. Dude's a tough out, you know. He's a gritty fighter, man. Uh, we seen him get off the canvas many a times and, and take out dudes, man. That Uzi fight was nice when he won that Uzi fight. Um. They, um, I mean, he was a big prospect, man. You know what I'm saying? He, and he was punching with him, and uh, I just think I, I just think it's a good fight. If he ends up fighting uh, Deontay Wilder, I think he's incredible. He's a credible opponent. I mean, he fought Anthony Joshua, man. You know what I'm saying? If he's good enough for Anthony Joshua. Um, he's, he's good enough for Deontay Wilder. The dude's a credible dude, man. You know what I'm saying? The dude puts in hard work. You know, you know, you're going to get a bang for your buck. You know, he's not going to lay down to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as, you know, he gets up, he punches, uh, with fighters and that's something I would like to see. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Brazil versus Deontay Wilder. I wouldn't mind seeing it, man, because I'm thinking like, man, um, he punches with you know, fighters, you know, and so I, I'm thinking, you know, with the uh, Anthony Joshua, um, maybe just, you know, lacked the experience, but he was getting some licks up in there, and it's just Anthony Joshua was just too fast, you know what I'm saying, dude was just too fast, but um, um, I'm thinking, you know, hell, you, you never know, you know what I'm saying, you never know, uh, dude's on the Two fight win streak. Uh, let's see it. You know, Dillian White. You know, um, 
you just gotta face Luis Ortiz, man. You know, he said the dude was an old man. You know, he said he's old. You know, ancient. But yeah, he's upset now. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to face Luis Ortiz. Which I don't understand that, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, um... You know, he called out everybody but Luis Ortiz. And, he, you know, he's supposed to be a soldier or a rude boy and whatnot. You know, so... I'm thinking, man, you know, hey, man, you got you to gotta rep, man. You got to do what you got to do in order to get it. I mean, he he can go to IBF route and fight Kubrick Pulev, you know what I'm saying, and, just, and have an opportunity to fight, you know, Anthony Joshua and whatnot, you know what I'm saying, with the IBF. So I don't think it's so bad, man, for him, you know. He, he's got options. He got options. But... Let me know what y'all think, man. Check out that Ellie Secback video, man, with Mauricio uh, Suleiman. All right, man, I'll catch y'all later.